we're old friends and we haven't seen each other in a while. <laughs> the last time we saw each other was with you and your dear friend Donald. Yeah. Um, and I put on these scrub this, onesies. Yeah, this onesie because we do a rewatch podcast of uh, of Scrubs, and which is very popular. Yeah. Like. A hit, a huge, yeah, it's huge a, hit it's in the a, podcast world. It's huge. a huge hit all over the world. And so we made, as a joke, we made these, like, onesies, and, and you put one on. Oh, it was, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, I come to play. Yeah. And, yeah, we have known each other for decades yeah, at this point. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. A long time. Um, I watched your film. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I think that means thank you. <laughs> this is award level, this is oh, the real deal, this is an extraordinarily beautiful, crafted, acted, directed, shot, holy cow. Oh, thank you so much. Oh Shirley. my God, so oh my God. Thank you. Chills while I'm talking about it. Thank you. Are you getting, it? by the way, it's called A Good Person. Yeah. Um, which, it will make you think so many things, it will make you feel so many things, um, including, I mean, let's just start with being alive. Yeah. Loss. Yeah. And how we deal with that. Um, I went through a lot of loss in the last four years. I lost my sister um, to an aneurysm. I lost my father to cancer. And then um, during COVID, one of my best friends got COVID and died. Uh, it was well publicized because he was a beloved Broadway actor named Nick Cordero. Yes. And he was living in my guest house when he got it and when he went to the hospital. So when I sat down in, in the pandemic, to, in the lockdown to finally write something, uh, this is kind of what came out of me. I wanted to write about standing back up after loss and trauma. But in my experience with some of these things, and I'm sure I hope a lot of people can relate, when, when there is a release, when there is a moment someone says something funny, you're just so happy that you have that, you can let the steam out of the engine. So I thought, I want to design the movie like that. The movie is going to be about grief and, and addiction and, and standing up after trauma, but I'm not going to make it too maudlin. I want there to be humor in it. I want there to be a release because that's how I personally experienced uh, this stuff. I, rem I have a memory of my family being in the ICU waiting room, just waiting to, to, to ha see what was happening with my sister. And my father said something that was just mildly funny. It wasn't even that funny, but we were, we all just started belly laughing with tears coming out of our eyes because, you know, the human, the human mind and body want that release. They crave that release. So that was sort of like what was in my mind while I was writing. I mean, it's watching this film and, and what she's going through, the great Florence Pugh, yeah, I think that huh? should be just, her name should change. But how about her performance the great in this movie? Florence huh? Pugh. It's just unbelievable. She's very special. Why is she so leap off of wherever she is and like straight into our hearts and minds? Why are we all so obsessed with her? There's just a magic. I mean, it's the old school thing of old school movie stars where they had a magic. It, obviously, she's beautiful. Obviously, she's an incredible actress. But she has that magical thing. Obviously, you have it too. These people that, that go to the next level and are, are movie stars. And they, um, and they just, you can't take your eyes off of them. You cannot take your eyes off of them. And this performance from her, I mean, even though she's done so much incredible work, I, 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 even I, who know her well, I was just, with my jaw was on the floor with her performance in this film. And Morgan Freeman also, I must say, <clears throat> because I had directed him before in a comedy, I had the comfort level with him, and he trusted me to really push him, because... Morgan is a, is, a, is a gruff, tough guy, and he can be intimidating. Um, and I love him to death, but he's Morgan Freeman. And, um, and so I think because we had made a comedy together, he really trusted me and let me push him. And I think this is one of the finest performances he's given in a long time. I agree. And the two of them together. Yeah. And I really felt that this was an incredible, emotionally compelling melting pot of the human experience. Thank that you. is the film you made, the story you wanted to tell. And when you were writing it, were you like writing it for and with Florence, yeah. also tailoring it to yeah, her? Yeah, well, we were, we, were, we were a couple at the time and we were in lockdown together. So I, I really wanted to write for her. And it was great because I would go down and write every day and, and then we'd come up and have dinner and, and talk about it. I wouldn't let her read it, but we would chat about it. And I'd say, you know, today I kind of discovered that this, what do you think about that? And I was thinking that maybe she does this and, and it became, she, you know, I, she, it really became a, 
uh, we kind of were developing it yeah. together. Um, Each other's music. Yes, we really truly were. And she had this idea where she said, I think the character it would be great if when we find her um, after uh, a, there's a, a time jump, if we find her and she's chopping off all her hair. And I said, that's a great idea. But logistically, we shot the movie in 26 days. I said, logistically, that's impossible. And she said, you'll figure it out. And I said, I, I talked to everyone, Florence, you, you know, we shoot out of or the movie completely out of order. You chopping off your hair is just not, we don't want to use wigs. They don't look real. And she said, you'll figure it out. So we eventually figured it out. And, um, and, and it really, you know, that's just an example of something that just came out of her. That was her idea. She, she, she felt the character would do that. And it's really powerful in the film. She's legitimately really cutting her hair off. So, and I love her look in the movie, too, because it's different than her, you know, fashionista red carpet persona, which yeah. is so on point. Yeah, she really, well, you guys know that stuff. I don't know, she's so into fashion. Like oh my God, she's so hot. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's confusing. Yeah. She confuses me to no end because she's so <laughs> talented and has so much moxie. She also has so much bravado yeah. to be who she is. Absolutely. To say, this is what I like. This is who I am. No, I don't accept that from you. Yeah, she's an incredible role Where model. Where does she get that I, from? Because I am the opposite. I'm like a people pleasing doormat in the best way, because I care so much. How do I get some of Florence Pugh's strength? I think she has incredible parents, uh, uh, just that raised uh, the, all, the, all of their children to be they're like Renaissance kids. They all play music. You know, Florence sings songs. Incredible she, musician. She, it, she of course, writes. I was like, of course, of course, she can <laughs> sing like an angel yeah, and too. She, and she, and the songs that are in the movie, she actually wrote herself. She, uh, of course, <laughs> she did. Why would? She, she's a Renaissance woman. Yeah. Nice to know the origin story is her family. Uh, you know? She wanted me to tell you that she loves Charlie's Angels so much, and that when when she was young, she would imitate all of your fight scene. She would like learn your action sequences. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said. I just texted her before I came on. I'm saying, I'm, I'm doing Drew's show. She goes, oh, my God, will you please tell her that I was obsessed with Charlie's Angels and I know, like, her fight choreography. <laughs> will you please text her back well. and tell her that I believe her name should be officially changed to the great Florence Pugh? I, I shall tell her, yes. Okay, yes. that's yes. an exchange I can go to sleep happy <laughs> with. All right, well, we have a clip here, actually. Take a look at the great Florence Pugh and Zach Braff. Hey, Mama, can you tell me where my pills are? Which ones? We said we were going to wean off of them, remember? Did we? Yes. Because we are in pain and we need more. They're not going to give you more, Allie. They have to. No, they don't. I need them. What's so incredible, too, is how unobvious and nuanced you make everything. It took me a long time in the best way to try to understand what's going on with everybody. Thank you. You know what? We'll, we have to go to a commercial break, but the good news is we'll be right back. You just come back.